Let's review Cocaine Bear, yeah! Well, this feels like a movie that was unfortunately 100% constrained by the budget. I really wish they gave Elizabeth Banks all of the budget to really just go all out, but I feel like they told her, all right, we're giving you enough for like 10 minutes of bear, so good luck filling the other hour with bullshit side plots and character development no one cares about, but I was not ready to be bored in a movie called Cocaine Bear. Alas, we spent what feels like 90% of the runtime with 37 characters who, okay, you ready for this web? Here we go. An overworked single nurse mother looking for her daughter and another kid who has a bad father with a Norwegian hiker who's recently lost his fiance who hated his brother's band, while St. Louis drug kingpin father goes looking for his missing product while also trying to reconnect with his son, who is also a single parent who left his kid with his drug kingpin dad whilst grieving a death, which has made him realize he doesn't want the drug life, who is begrudgingly teaming up with his ex-best friend who's trying to prove himself in the world he's stuck in while all being tailed by a hard-ass detective who got the wrong dog delivered to him at the pound, who's being backstabbed by a corrupt cop who also wants to walk away, but not if the park ranger, who's in love with the park inspector, catches up with them, who are interrupted by three knife-willing delinquent teens looking for money and a good time, and holy shit, the writers were the ones on cocaine. I fucking hate all these people. Get back to the fucking bear. So three out of five stars for me and follow my letterbox account link to my bio for more.